This program is brought to you by Emory University. It may be fun and games at lunchtime, but these youngsters are enrolled in one of the most demanding parochial programs in the country. We make a guarantee. If you graduate from Crystal Ray Atlanta, you will go to college. We will get you into college. We guarantee it. Cristo Ray Atlanta is part of a countrywide network of Catholic high schools that prep children with limited means for college. I want to thank you all for coming to our first annual draft day. Emory St. Joseph's and Emory Midtown were on hand at the school's inaugural draft day, where freshman students there are matched up with local businesses as interns. Ninth graders Nina Dunwoody and Gabby Wilson were the picks for Emory St. Joseph's. This is a way to reach out and partner with Cristo Ray to make positive change and to, to help us be a better community partner, a better community citizen. It's also a way for Emory St. Joseph's to stay connected to its faith-based community. We're the only hospital in Atlanta that is Catholic-based, and we want to make sure that we are continue to build those ties um, to the Catholic community. Not to mention bolster potential fresh talent for the healthcare industry. We want to be able to provide an opportunity for those students to gain as much knowledge about a healthcare environment so that we can continue to build the future workforce of healthcare. But to many of these kids, it's simply a path to a brighter future. Whatever they put me in, I'll try to like do my best and work hard there. The Crystal Ray program seeks to nurture talented kids like Gabby and Nina, who otherwise might not have access to this type of safe and rigorous academic environment. I want to be an OBGYN. I want to be the first one to see the baby. Courtesy cart to the back of the center point building. We caught up with the girls a few weeks later on the job at St. Joseph's. It was clear that their exposure to the business world was already paying off. Exposure, like seeing how a major metropolitan hospital negotiates with its vendors. I said, well, Nina, what did you think? She said, well, basically, you were wanting a product, but you didn't want to pay as much for it that they wanted to sell it to you for. So y'all were negotiating back and forth. I said, that's exactly right. What I really like about the students is they are not afraid to help us do anything that we ask. No job is too small, no job is too big. I want to go to college and you know I want to major in something that I enjoy and I can also get money for. And I think that's really what you know having like a perfect kind of situation is. I don't know what I want to be anymore. I kind of want to still be an OBGYN, but if I see a surgery, I might change my mind. They're looking at things from fresh set of eyes. That can be tremendously valuable because at the end of the day, it's, you know, what do you see that could help us be better? I see them making a difference because they seem like movers and shakers already in early age. So the sky's the limit for them. Oh, in 10 years from now, these kids are going to be rock stars in the workplace. I have a feeling they're going to be very successful. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.